Well, a much warmer than normal fall weekend. Meteorologist Tim Miguel here with the full forecast. Hey, Tim. That's right, Charlie. Today, especially highs well to the 70s, up near 80 in some areas south and west of the city. We're going to cool down a little bit tomorrow, but still be close to average or even a little bit above. Less sunshine tomorrow, a little bit more cloudiness, and 60s for highs on Sunday. I don't think we'll see any 70s around here. Maybe a few well south of the city. Best chance of rain over the next six or seven days. Really only Monday. We've got some scattered showers. Might hear a rumble of thunder then too on Columbus Day. And a dramatic drop in temperatures coming towards the end of next week. We'll see highs fall into the 50s, the coolest air we've seen so far this season, the coldest air we've seen since uh, about six months ago, going back to May. These were the high temperatures so far today. 77 at O'Hare, 77 in Midway. Normally we make it up into the mid 60s, so 10 degrees or more above average. 80 in Morris today, 80 degrees down in Ottawa. And these are the temperatures now. This is a result of a backdoor cold front slipping south across the area. Temperatures have fallen to the 50s in Waukegan, 60 at O'Hare, 61 in Midway, 64 degrees in Morris after making it up to 80. And these temperatures anywhere from around 10 to 20 degrees colder now compared to 24 hours ago because of that front. And this is the reason why it's so cool. We've got those northeast winds fairly brisk coming off of that cool Lake Michigan water. So temperatures have dropped a bit. Clouds and radar in real time. Not much showing up here. We've got mainly clear skies across most of northern Illinois, northern Indiana. A little bit of a band of clouds near that front to the south of us. But it looks like a dry night shaping up for us. And we're going to stay dry. It looks like tomorrow as well. Just a little bit more on the cloudy sky. And then speaking of our Hurricane Delta, this is the remnants of that storm spinning northward here across parts of northern Mississippi, spawning several tornadoes in Georgia. They've got a couple of warnings now just south and east of Atlanta. And the storm will continue to live northward. It's going to stay to the south of us, though. It looks like we'll miss the rain from that system over the next couple of days, but still up to a half a foot of rain could fall in along the path of the remnants of that storm. Closer to home, again, dry for us here. A real-time satellite radar tracker showing the clouds breaking up maybe a bit tonight, but then the clouds thicken up again tomorrow. Some peaks of sun, but overall mainly cloudy for us, but seasonally mild, it looks like, during the day on Sunday. The rain holds off until late morning. It looks like Monday. This is around 10, 11 o'clock. Showers come through, maybe a rumble of thunder, and by about 3 o'clock or so, most of that is gone. So it won't be an all-day rain on Monday, but we will see some periods of showers, it looks like, during the middle part of the day. Tonight's lows will get down to the low to mid-50s. 55 over here, 55 midway, 52 degrees in Aurora. That's above average. Tomorrow's high temperatures. Most of us, I think, in the mid to upper 60s, but we could see some 70s south and west of the city. 77 in Morris, maybe 75 degrees in Joliet. So your forecast for tonight, partly cloudy skies for us tonight. Cooler than last night, but still above average. We'll get down to around 55 for the low. Northeast winds will settle down a little bit. They're still a bit breezy, but they'll settle down to around 5 to 15 miles per hour tonight. For tomorrow, more clouds and sun, partly to mostly cloudy. A high of 69 tomorrow. That's still about 3 or 4 degrees above average. And we're going to have an east wind blowing in off the lake at about 10 to 15. Now your 7-day forecast, we keep it relatively mild, it looks like, through the next 3 or 4 days. 70 for the high on Columbus Day. Maybe a few showers during the middle of the day. 71 on Tuesday. 67 on Wednesday. And look at this dramatic drop in temperatures. We drop into the 50s for highs Thursday and Friday. Highs in the 50s also on Saturday. Overnight lows get well down to the low 40s. So enjoy this relatively mild weather while you can, Charlie, for the next couple of days.